In a big step for China's Navy, three types of carrier-based planes have aced their first takeoff and landing tests on the flight deck of the mighty Fujian aircraft carrier. This news announced by the People's Liberation Army Navy shows China's growing power at sea. The planes, the J-15T fighter, the J-35 stealth fighter, and the KJ-600 early warning aircraft use the carrier's high-tech electromagnetic catapults for launch and arresting wires for safe landings. It's a smooth success. That means the Fujian is ready for real action with a full team of aircraft. These tests prove the ship's launch and landing gear works perfectly with different planes. This clears the way for the Fujian to carry mixed groups of fighters, scouts, and support birds. It's not just training, it's the start of a stronger Chinese fleet that can project power far from home. These three planes aren't random picks, they're the core of Fujian's air wing. Each brings unique skills, tested now on the real deck. Here's a simple breakdown. J-35, the Stealth Shadow. J-35 is China's shiny new fifth-generation stealth fighter. Smaller and sneakier than the J-20 land jet, it's built for carriers from the ground up. At 37,000 pounds, it zips at Mach 1.8 with radar evading skin that makes it hard to spot. Twin engines give super cruise, fast flight without afterburners to save gas. The J-35 is equipped with four PL-15 long-range missiles or precision bombs, plus wing pylons for extras. AESA radar and sensors spot stealthy enemies first. Range 1,100 miles, extendable with tanks. On Fujian, catapults let it launch heavy, maximizing stealth strikes. It's the J-15's future replacement, dodging radars for surprise hits on carriers or bases. By 2026, expect 20 to 30 aboard, turning Fujian into a ghost fleet. KJ-600, the Sky Radar Master. The KJ-600 is a Fujian's eyes in the sky, an airborne early warning and control plane. Think of it as a flying command center, based on a stretched Y9 turboprop airframe. Four big radomes spin 360 degrees, spotting planes, ships, or missiles 250 miles away, even in clutter. At 140,000 pounds, it cruises at 400 miles per hour for eight hours, directing up to 100 friendlies via secure links. It jams enemy radars, guides intercepts, and warns of incoming threats. No weapons, but its intel wins battles before they start. Catapults mean full takeoff weight, so more fuel and crew. KJ-600 has a role of fleet quarterback, coordinating J-15 swarms or spotting subs. One or two KJ-600s multiply Fujian's reach tenfold. J-15T, the heavy hitter fighter. The J-15T is an upgraded version of China's workhorse carrier jet, the J-15 Flying Shark. Based on Russia's old Su-33, it's a 4.5 generation beast with twin engines pushing 1,100 miles per hour top speed. At 60,000 pounds loaded, it carries 12 tons of bombs, missiles, or fuel tanks. Its radar locks targets 120 miles out, and it fires PL-12 air-to-air rockets or YJ-83 anti-ship missiles. On Fujian, the T variant shines with beefed-up landing gear for catapult ops and AESA radar for better jamming resistance. It can fly 1,200 miles without refueling, loiter for hours, or dogfight foes. About 40 could pack Fujian's deck, making it a missile truck against enemy ships. China has two carriers already, the Liaoning and Shandong, but those use old-school ski jumps for takeoffs, which limit how heavy or full the planes can be when they launch. The Fujian changes the game with its flat deck and electric catapults, like those on top U.S. ships. This lets planes carry more fuel and weapons, fly longer, and hit harder. With this test done, Experts say the Fujian could join the fleet by late 2025, kicking off China's three-carrier era. One ship for repairs, one for training, one for missions, round-the-clock readiness in hot spots like the South China Sea or around Taiwan. The tests happened during the Fujian's Ninth Sea Trial, which started on September 10th. The ship sailed past the Senkaku Islands, 
through the Taiwan Strait and into the South China Sea for these drills. Over 100 days of trial since May 2024 have ironed out kinks in engines, radars, and deck ops. The Fujian, or Type 003, in Navy lingo is China's homegrown supercarrier. Launched in June 2022 from Shanghai's Jiangnan shipyard, it's 1,036 feet long, about two football fields, and weighs over 80,000 tons when loaded. That's bigger than China's earlier carriers and on par with older U.S. ones, like the Kitty Hawk class. Unlike its siblings, Fujian skips the ski jump for three electromagnetic catapults, emails. These use magnets, not steam, to hurl planes off the deck at precise speeds. It's smoother, more reliable, and lets pilots launch in bad weather or with full loads. Power comes from conventional steam turbines and diesel generators. No nuclear heart yet, but enough for 30 plus knots top speed. It can sail 8,000 miles without refueling, perfect for long patrols. The angled flight deck has four arresting wires to snag landing hooks, plus advanced radars in the island superstructure for spotting foes up to 200 miles away. So, with Fujian online, China eyes safer seas, stronger deterrence, and maybe even power projection like the US. Today's drills show China's Navy isn't playing catch up anymore. It's in the race, full throttle. From the decks of old Liaoning to this electric giant, China's carriers are evolving fast. The Pacific just got a lot more interesting.